Hello friends, welcome back to Odoo Development Tutorial video. We were discussing about the inheritance uh, in the last video. We discussed about uh, the traditional inheritance. The, under the traditional inheritance, we were discussing about the class inheritance. So, in the class inheritance, we said that uh, it can be used to add new fields into an existing model or we can uh, we can uh, override the definition of a field or we can add new constraint or add new method or override an existing method and uh, it is used to add new features that we just uh, said now and uh, uh, this new updated class updated uh, model will be uh, will be compatible with the already defined views of that uh, old model okay so that means if you have uh, a model and you have already defined uh, the form views tree views and uh, list views menus and etc and then later you are uh, inheriting and adding uh, new features or overriding an existing feature or something like that it will be uh, compatible with the views that you are already defined okay so if you are replacing a, a field no problem and if you are uh, making a new constraints no problem with your views no uh, no problem uh, will happen with your views so the second item that we uh, second type of inheritance that we are going to discuss is uh, under the traditional inheritance we have a prototype inheritance so if you can see this image uh, you may have uh, got some idea like uh, the prototype inheritance will create a new copy of that existing model and we can add uh, new features into that new copy of uh, existing model okay you see uh, the object one this is the original object and it has a attribute one and when we inherit those uh, that uh, object using this prototype method it will create a new object sorry new uh, model and you can add new attributes new fields new constraints new methods etc into that new model okay so uh, to create a uh, to make an ex inheritance like this you have to provide a new name along with the inherit attribute that we used in the previous method you have to add a new name okay so uh, you have to give a uh, uh, underscore name is equal to the name that you want to uh, you wish to give for your new object so this one will copy all the features that we have for our existing model into the new model and in this method the views will not be supported for the new object sorry uh, the new model okay uh, the views will uh, stay with the already uh, existing model and the new copy will not be compatible with the uh, new uh, the views that is already defined for older model and it will have a different space in our database that means uh, the old and new will be stored in two different database I will show an example uh, from Odoo for this type of uh, inheritance here uh, we have a uh, model called mail.thread it's an abstract model uh, so uh, you cannot see that in our uh, database uh, but this have uh, some fields you can see the name is mail.thread and uh, it have some fields most of them are compute fields and uh, relational fields so uh, it, these fields will not be visible uh, in uh, our table structure uh, you see the message uh, is follower is compute field and uh, message follower id is one to many it's a virtual relation so it will not be there and message partner id is also compute 
and many compute fields and uh, message IDs one to many this is compute and also this compute this one also compute field the only one uh, that are not compute is message main attachment ID so um, uh, why we are taking this message main attachment ID is uh, to show you the structure how this structure is uh, affecting our models how this inheritance will go into affect our models so uh, other fields will not be visible you know, visible in our database so I will show you the uh, how the database structure uh, will be uh, ha handling this inheritance so uh, we have two another two models one is HR job HR job is inheriting mail dot thread okay so the job have a name expected employees number of employees these are the fields that uh, we defined for the HR job and uh, the HR department have this all these fields so when we check in the normal case if you are having the inherited uh, any model uh, we cannot see more fields than this uh, excluding uh, our create id create date write id write uh, date that kind of uh, fields that kind of special fields uh, we cannot see any other additional fields so uh, in this case you may notice that this one is uh, defined under our mail thread mail thread model and it's called message main attachment id and when i check this and this uh, hr job and hr department model you can see that field comes under this model okay so uh, let's go to our pg admin here is our hr department uh, let's check out columns you see the message main attachment it came to that model okay so uh, let's check the another one hr job message main attachment so what we did is we took the features that mail thread have into our new model that means we copied all the fields and the methods and everything into our new model and we can reuse this uh, old one to create a new uh, another new uh, models using the same day so the main advantages of this thing is we can copy the uh, already available features into our new model and uh, uh, the point we have to note is the class the new class will be ignored by the existing views that means the existing views that defined for the mail thread in our example the mail thread will not be suitable for the HR jobs or HR department and it will be stored in different uh, database uh, location that means uh, it will take uh, different space in our location it will have in different uh, table structure and it will have a different type okay so uh, that this is uh, the second type uh, of inheritance and uh, we will discuss with the third one in uh, next video thanks for watching uh, please subscribe to our uh, channel for the updates If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.